Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to cook a picadillo in Filipino style. But before we start, Benny my doggy is hiding somewhere in my video. Find him and comment with timestamp. I will give a shout out to first one who finds him in my next video. And allow me to say thank you to all my viewers and subscribers. And the one that doesn't subscribe yet, please hit the button, subscribe, and hit the notification. Thank you. So we start cutting the bell pepper, cut in cubes. I have two colors. You can use any colors of bell pepper. And one medium size of carrots, cut in cubes as well baby potatoes cut in four roughly chopped onions five pieces of garlic and 250 grams of grounded beef and this is all the ingredients cut and prepared and then i just add uh, pimento olives and black olives for the seasoning salt black pepper onion powder oyster sauce cooking wine and dried oregano leaves in a hot pan olive oil I saute the meat first, make it brown and rendered all the oil from the meat. Add the garlic. Next is the onions. And just saute until golden brown. Then season with salt, black pepper, and onion powder. Mix it well. Then add the cooking wine. Mix it well. Then add your oyster sauce. After, add the chunk tomato. Mix it and blend it together. Mix it well. Then cover, bring it to boil for about five minutes. Then add your baby potato and the carrots. Mix it well. And cover for about, cover and boil for about 10 minutes. Then add the olives. And mix it well. Mix it well. And then cover, bring it to boil for about three minutes. After three minutes, 
stir it and add the bell peppers mix it gently and then bring it to boil for about two minutes Then shimmer for about two minutes, covered and boiled. And then add the shredded cheese. The cheese is optional, so it's up to you if you want to put on or not. But for me, I love cheese, so I want my piccadilly to become creamier and tastier. So that's why I add cheese. So guys, if you like my video, please like and subscribe leave comments below and thank you for watching see you in my next recipe bye